If you want a glimpse of what happens to countries when they embrace the mental disorder of extreme liberalism, look no further than Sweden. And no, this is not a hoax, it's not satire. It's not out of the onion. This is a real story. Socialists in Sweden want to tax the population to pay for returning ISIS terrorists to get jobs and reintegrate into society. Arero Municipality Councillor Rasmus Persson wants to offer psychological help to enable jihadist militants to overcome traumatic experiences they may have suffered while fighting in Iraq and Syria. Sweden's official coordinator against violent extremism, Mona Salin, wants to take the idea nationwide and impose a tax aid for immigrants who fought with ISIS. Taxing citizens to pay for the reintegration of violent nutcases who behead people, throw gays off buildings, and stone women to death. It's liberal! And remember, this is a country whose taxpayer-funded expert on Islamophobia went on to join ISIS. <laughs> Swedish soldier Frederick Brandberg fired back at this insane proposal by pointing out that the country's combat veterans, some of whom are currently fighting against ISIS militants in Iraq, don't even get offered jobs when they return home. Swedish armed forces responded by saying that was, quote, no longer our business. Marie Hoff was completely ridiculed for days on end when she made her infamous jobs for ISIS argument. But there's no ridicule in Sweden. This is being treated as a legitimate debate. Now, there's also a big debate at the moment in Britain about how to prevent ISIS wannabes from leaving the country to go and fight in Syria. God knows why. I mean, just go and let them blow themselves up for all I care. But at least the hundreds of jihadists who are now returning to Britain are actually being arrested. In Sweden, they're about to be given counselling and employment all at taxpayer expense. But to be fair, Sweden is the shining light in terms of cohesive and beneficial Muslim immigration into the country, right? Well, no, actually, they're the rape capital of Europe and have entire no-go Muslim ghettos where police, firefighters and ambulance workers are attacked on a regular basis. But hey, pandering to violent rapist criminals just isn't progressive enough. Let's roll out the red carpet for terrorists who kidnap women and force them to undergo surgery after every act of rape to restore their virginity. That's compassionate liberalism. Stick a fork in Sweden, because it's done. And this once proud nation can now only serve as a warning to others about what happens when governments become afflicted with the mental disorder of extreme liberalism. Check out the other videos, subscribe to the channel. I'm Paul Joseph Watson for Infowars.com.